Zimbabwean scientist Cosmos Magaragosho is breeding a new heat-tolerant variety of maize. In spite of high temperatures and low rainfall, the result of climate change and the El Nino phenomenon, this hybrid maize has managed to survive. The seeds are produced by cross-pollinating two lines, resulting in higher and later yields. Basically it means transferring genes from one plant to another type so that you create a new type that is the characteristic that you want. Once referred to as the breadbasket of Africa, Zimbabwe used to export maize. Now it imports about 2 million metric tons a year to feed itself. Earlier this year, Zimbabwe declared a state of disaster with two and a half million people in urgent need of food aid. But farmers testing this hybrid maize managed to get by. Compared to other seeds, these seeds survived the heat and dry conditions that we experienced, and this resulted in a better harvest. I should have enough to last until February next year. Efforts to roll out the hybrid maize are being slowed down by government testing and approval procedures. Experts believe more should be done to speed up the process to prepare for even higher temperatures in the future. The recent research says that, that crops aren't keeping up with the pace of, of climate change and this is simply because uh, as the environment warms a crop will mature earlier than, than under the, the lower temperatures. When a crop matures earlier it, it gives you less yield. Drought is high on the agenda at the UN COP22 climate talks in Morocco. But while world leaders discuss how to cap global warming, farmers in southern Africa need to find ways to adapt to climate change in order to survive.